I'm uh, Aftab Padney. Um, I focus uh, in the group on uh, a subspecialty called otology and neurotology. And uh, the reason actually I went into the subspecialty is because, you know, the ear is a fairly complex organ. There's lots of diverse pathology. Most people, when they think about the ear, they think of wax or something simple like that. But certainly it's much more complex than that, and that's what makes it so interesting and lets me see a variety of conditions. And I think that's what kind of led me into going into the field is because there's such a wide variety of things you can deal with and treat problems such as hearing loss, recurrent ear infections, ear tumors, um, and dizziness conditions. Yeah, I did my uh, medical school training at a place called uh, University of Illinois in Chicago, and I did my uh, ear, nose, and throat um, uh, residency training at the same location. And at that point, I developed an interest in um, uh, complex ear disorders, and that led me to doing a fellowship at, at the prestigious uh, Michigan Ear Institute. Um, uh, and I did that for two years. And uh, since I've moved to Central Florida, I've continued my interest in um, uh, difficult ear problems. Sure. Um, I grew up in the Chicago uh, suburbs, um, so we kind of got tired of the cold. And um, Central Florida was an attractive area because it's very kid-friendly, and um, I have a family, so this was an ideal place for us to come to. Um, in my leisure time, you know, um, I spend quite a time with the family. Um, things that I do on my own would be uh, racquetball um, and uh, doing soccer. Well, I think it's the, it's the um, hands-on care that you provide. And as a surgeon, there's lots of things um, that you can do that can correct an underlying condition that the patient comes to you with. I think that probably is one of the most rewarding things. You know, if somebody comes due to hearing loss, you can correct that and improve it. That, you know, that's very rewarding. Uh, probably one of the most common conditions would be recurrent ear infections. Um, and that can be related to holes in the eardrum or little benign tumors in the ear uh, called cholesteatomas. Um, and most of them are treated either with medical management, with medicines. But by the time they usually come to see me in my subspecialty, uh, they're usually coming for a surgical consult. Um, so, you know, we frequently repair eardrums with something called tympanoplasties, uh, remove disease from the bone of the mastoid doing a mastoidectomy. So that's probably one of my most common procedures I performed.